Hey everyone, I'm Jason and in today's video I'm going to show you how to watch your security cameras on your Fire Stick using the VLC player. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you need the VLC player. If you don't have it, all you got to do is go to find, search, and punch in V. L C and it pops up right away. Just click on it and there it is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. But before we could do anything, we need to get the IP address of our security camera. So let's head over to the computer. Then we'll head back to the VLC player. So I'm going to be adding my front door doorbell camera, which it is a hike vision camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the SAP tool in order to find the IP address because we will need it. So I will leave a link to get this tool in the description below. It will also be available on my website. So you double click on it and it'll be right here. And right here in the middle is all your IP addresses. So I got three cameras here but this is the one that I'm going to use. So I'll just write this down so you have it because you will need it. So I'm gonna close this up. Okay, so now there's two ways of doing it, installing it or adding it onto the VLC. Is This is the first one. So here's your IP address, or this is where you're gonna type your IP address of the camera from that program I just showed you. So you got to type it right here and the following as well. The second option, if you do it this way, option one, it is going to ask you for your username and password. And you will have to type it in, which I will show you once we go back to the VLC player. And option two is actually adding the username and password already to this link. This way you do not have to enter the username and password. So if you want to do option two, admin is already the username. If yours is different, you will have to put it in here and you type in the password where I have password. You're going to delete this and actually enter the password of your camera. And once again, then you can enter the IP address of your camera here as well. And you're gonna have to type all this in. But don't worry, it's a one-time thing. So once you type this in, it's, I'll show you a shortcut, it's gonna be saved there so you don't have to keep typing this in. Same with the top one. Once you enter your username and password, it will not ask you again unless you physically delete it from the program. Okay, so let's go back to the VLC. So keep this handy because you will need it. Okay, so what you're going to do now is we're going to head over to all the way down to where it says stream. You're going to click on it. You're going to get this. Now we're going to press the OK button and now we're going to type our link. So we do have the two options like I spoke about. You're either going to write, you're going to type in the one with just the stream. Then it's going to prompt you to enter your username and password. If you don't want to do that, then you do option two with the username and password. Keep in mind, option one, once you type in your username and password, it is saved on here. You're not going to, it's not going to ask you to type it in again. So right now I am going to do option one just to show you. The other thing I like to mention is some security cameras, you don't need to type in the whole link. Some of them you do. I know the camera I have, it works without me type, punching in the whole link. So I'm just going to type this in. I need, you do need the 554 because that's the RTSP portal. So I'm going to hit next. And here it is. Now it's going to ask you for your login information. So 
So over here, you click on remember password so you don't have to keep typing it in every time you want to go in. Then just press OK. And there you have it. So once you do it, now if I hit the return key, right over here under history, it stays here. So if I press OK, it should load the camera right up. And there you go. Okay, so if you have another camera that you want to add, all you have to do is go back to stream and retype it in and it will be saved under the history. Then you can flip from camera to camera. And that's all to it. So over here in history, you'll have a few of them here. I'm going to add another one. So if you're going to add your recorder, what you could do is where it ends 101, that's for camera one. If you do 201, that will be camera two. 301 and so on will be flipping through each camera. So if you want to put multiple cameras here, you're able to do that as well. So I'm just going to type in the exact same link. Is please keep in mind if you are doing your recorder you do have to put the full link you can't just use the IP address the other thing I want to mention is all recorders do have a mainstream which is the high definition stream and it has a sub stream. So depending on your internet speed, if your device can't handle the main stream, what you want to do is instead of doing 101, what you're going to do is you're going to do 102. This way it uploads the, the second stream, the sub stream, then press next. And here it is. Now it's going to ask you for your login information. And there you go. And now if I go up here, I got both of them here. So now I could flip from one camera to the other. And my other view is still here. So say if you want to delete this from the app, from the VLC player, what you want to do is let's go to settings, go all the way to the bottom to advanced. Now we're going to go to clear playback history. And we're just going to click on there, click on yes. Now, if we return back to that page, as you can see, it's gone. So there's no history here whatsoever. So now you would have to re-enter all that information all over again. So guys, like this video, give me a thumbs up. Any questions, give me a comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching.